Well, as I got uh, more and more well known for being an actor and a celebrity, I was approached by more and more different charities. And uh, they were of all different stripes, political ones, animal ones, Greenpeace, Physicians for Social Responsibility. Uh, and it started to get very daunting because I knew that as I was recognizable, I could help a charity a great deal, but I wasn't quite sure where to put my support. And then I was contacted by the Mona Foundation and uh, the founder, uh, Manaj Javid, actually knew my father from the Seattle area. And uh, I spoke to my dad and he had the highest recommendation about the charity and about Manaz. And the more I investigated, the more and more I liked. And gradually realized that I had kind of stumbled upon what essentially is a perfect charity. Uh, it's so simple in its design, but its scope is so broad to find grassroots organizations around the world that are already working and serving the needs of that population and to just get money to them to address specifically those needs. Well, I think that um, one thing that's great about the Mona Foundation is that, you know, 97% of the money you donate goes to actually help people. Um, a lot of times when people write checks to charities, they don't know where that money's going. There might be giant corporate offices in Zurich or London or something like that, and how much of that money is actually getting to help people. The Mona Foundation, 97%, 100% if you're directly donating for a specific project. So. You know, it's hard for to talk to American youth about saying, you know, hey, you should go out to the jungles of Brazil and go teach at this school and this orphanage. Come on, what do you say? Like, it happens, but that's that's a tough sell. But to say, look, let's one thing we can do here is we can have bake sales and yard sales and you know and gather books together and and we can have potlucks and you know, whatever it is to raise money, and it'll really add up. All of a sudden, it'll be a few hundred dollars. All of a sudden, it's a few thousand dollars. Then it's a few tens of thousands of dollars. And we can send that to a girls' school in Tanzania or a, or a training program in, in India and get them the, the rice cooker they need or the science lab that they need. It's, it's a direct correlation, and you're literally putting in a little bit of effort, a few hours a week, and you're making the world a much better place.